On January the 6th at the Convocation Center in DeKalb, Ohio lost to Northern Illinois 80 to 69. On February the 6th at the Convocation Center in Athens, Ohio beat Northern Illinois 80 to 69. Mind blown. Hello, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is right there. Our postgame report is supported by Donwood Toyota on the web at DonwoodToyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. So you're telling me it was the same score a month later right. with a different result. Yes, yeah, certainly an interdimensional set of symmetry there, but it worked for Ohio. And the point guard battle that went to Baker and Northern last time, the big man battle that went to March last time, went squarely to Ohio, and Jerron Simmons is the star this afternoon. Double-double for Jerron Simmons. Ohio was on top by 16 at halftime. But Northern came back, and they're a better ball club now than they've been in years. And they did have a lead in the second half, but they only led for about six minutes in that contest because Ohio took the hit to the face didn't go down to the canvas, and they swung back with a nice old run. Yeah, Northern owned the first 10 minutes of the second half, went on a 20-4 to run. At one point, as you said, it saw Phillips, he was shocked. Northern was out-rebounding Ohio 15-2 to in the half. All at the glass, all at the post, a lot of offensive rebounds, but Ohio comes back from that, stands strong, puts some Kevlar on the spine, and holds on to win this thing. Pressure uh, does a lot, and in ball games, Ohio rose to that level of pressure. Northern on the road, couple of key possessions, threw the ball away. Pressure and defense by Ohio were big. Yeah, Northern ends up with a bunch of turns, and frankly, a lot of those were what you would call in tennis unforced errors. Northern did it themselves late on their way to 15 turnovers in this game, well over their average for a team that doesn't play that fast a pace. Win number 14 of the year for the Bobcats. That's a 2-1 and one homestand. Ohio is 5-5 five and five in the MAC. It was an 11-point win. Here's how it looked and sounded at the Roundhouse on Richland. Campbell into the post now, Kaminsky. Back to the bucket, works on Armstead. Turns, right hand hook, bottom. Inside. To Marge, drove past, uh, drove past Campbell and missed the dunk. He blew past two defenders like they weren't there and then he missed a right handed crush. Said he stopped into the post, Campbell, great job and laid it in. The SIU transfer goes baseline right, turn, shoots, scores. Treg said he had 15. Five straight for the Huskies. Two-hand pass right side, Dardis for three, bang, for Jordan Dardis. Trailing the play, it's Gavin Block, puts the ball on the deck, hands it off to Kenny, left wing three on the way, bang! That's two in a row from deep, and Ohio's on top 12-9, 13.52 to go for the first half. Post, Doug Taylor faces up on Marich, bangs with him two times, right-hand hook coming up, got it! Back to Simmons, high in the right, bullet pass into the post, cutting block, laid it in! Snuck in there like a sneaky cat. Chooks Arebu drives baseline left to Baker, who lost the ball. Here comes Ohio, three on three, clear down the floor, look away, pass, layup, yes! 25 against Ohio last time, 0 for 3 in short minutes tonight. Simmons, look away, pass on the post, layup, yes, Campbell, counted and a foul. Media timeout coming up, Ohio up 5. Bullet pass on the post, one dribble, Dardis goes up, banked it in, counted and a foul. Simmons for Ohio to the foul line, glad you enjoyed it. Right in front of the arc, right wing steady, shoots and scores. Board by using his backside well. Simmons runs all the way down the lane of the goal and laid it in. It's Simmons with one, now two, now three dribbles. Hands it off to Dardis, catch and shoot three. Bang! For Jordan Dardis, 34 to 22. 10 here, 34-24. Got good down screen help from March. Dardis with a deep three on the right wing. Bang! And once they had a couple ejected, they weren't going to win. Right side three, bang for Jerron Simmons. Now to Seti at the point, guarded by Arebu, switches to the left hand, stops at the foul line, spin, shoots and scores. Simmons at the point, turns on the Jets against contact, low block right, bagging shot, yes. Left of the paint, Seti pocket left, drives on Armstead to the back logo, shoots and it rimmed around and in. Chicken ties like for him. Yeah. Mark Montgomery, left wing Seti three, bang! And Ohio is raining down triples, seven makes. Up to the top, Jerron, repost to Campbell, left block, right hand hook. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Buckle up, gonna be a bumpy ride. Setty right of the paint, lob it to the post, Campbell catches, lays it in, counted and a foul. To the table every time, Marshawn Wilson was ready to check in, but he was late. Taylor off balance in the lane, shoots and scores. So flat. Looking over to Ohio's bench, they're like, what the what? That's awful. Simmons to the foul line, beneath the line of the rack, layup, yes. Simmons to the foul line, beneath the line, back door and a bouncer, Kenny, layup, yes. Kaminsky, up Kaminsky snuck in there. Sit. Northern got away with the push off of the rebound, ends up at the center line. Campbell falls down, gets it on a long bouncer to setting off on the right. Game clock at five, Kaminsky right wing, ball fake steps in, long two, got it. Now to Simmons, left hash, left wing. He's open, he's shooting, and he bangs! 
Third down, here come the Cats. Right side, Dardis, open shooting and bang! Now with a right hand dribble at the point, turns on the Jets to the foul line, leaves it off to Todd, reverser, yes! Apps in the MAC tournament, high on the left side, it is Simmons. Free space, shoots and scores! Oh. Basketball, it's Bradley, left-handed uh, shooter, misses a three, rebound, Jerron. The shot clock and game clock are pretty much identical, and gotta give Ohio credit. They took a shot to the face at the start of half two, up by 16 at halftime, but they didn't go down to the canvas. Some big shots offensively and some great plays defensively, and this one will belong to the Bobcats. Not to be lost in this, some key contributions. Jordan Dardis and Treg Setti. Yep, 17 out of Jordan. Treg ends up 12 points, five boards, but it was defensive glue, and he had weird assignments tonight. He played Northern players who, frankly, are not known for their outside shootings. He was able to back off of them and essentially double some of Northern's offensive stars and reach and play well with his feet, and he did a lot of things that won't be in the scorebook tonight, but he had a solid game. Treg took some charges. Yes. In fact, gave a thumbs up to the Ozone as they were yelling positively at him right. after he took that charge. Credit him with, I think, two of those for the banquet tape tonight. A lot of offensive yeah. charges called on both sides. A lot of turns off offensive mm -hmm. charges. Some complaints maybe early about the officiating, but you're right. They called it, in my mind, even. They called a lot of those. They were focusing that tonight. A lot of turns from foul calls. This was a really good Mid-American Conference basketball game. This is what this need, uh, what this league needs. Yep, Saturday, reasonably full building, reasonably loud building, students tuned in. This is the perfect MAC East-West battle. Yeah, it always can be louder, but I thought the crowd did a great job. Over 8,000 here on Sibs weekend, and there were times here when it was really loud. Yep, now Ohio on the road mm -hmm. for a week and going to Ball State, not expecting huge numbers there, but Ball State much better this year. They are. They won in overtime over Western Michigan on Saturday. We'll be on the air from Worthen Arena at 6.30 for a tip at 7 o'clock as Ohio sees Ball State. This was a fun one, Rob. I would like to replay this one every Saturday with an Ohio win and a loud building for the next uh, three or four weeks. 80 to 69, the final. Ohio wins over Northern Illinois. Kudos to Jason Chapino and the entire Bobcat TV crew. Now for Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Our postgame report is supported by Donwood Toyota on the web at donwoodtoyota.com, 900 East State Street, Nathens. The Cats win by 11, and this is Bobcat TV.